Old Gods of Asgard, uh, Herald of Darkness. Hi, Brad. It's a really fun song for one of my favorite. Oh, wait, no, no, that's the wrong message. My bad. Uh, the actual message is yes. thanks, Hank. Uh, come back anytime. Says for context, this is a game called Alan Wake 2. Uh, it's an interview slash musical about Alan Wake. Really? Am I able to show this? The fuck is this? Oh my god. Huh. Well, let's risk it. What's the worst that could happen, you know? And game of the year goes to Alan Wake 2. Welcome, welcome. Our guest tonight is Alan Wake. This time he wanted to do something a little different. A deep dive into who he is as an artist and as a man. Where he comes from, where he draws his inspiration. What demons he wrestles with in the dark hours of the night. Together with our house band, the divine old gods of Asgard, we have created something very special. Yeah. The song is called Herald of Darkness, but I like to call this next segment the story of the journey of Alan Wake, the musical. We just do what we always do. We'll chat, but instead of talking, we'll sing it. What I gathered, you grew up nice and sheltered with mama's pretty stories and your own made up fury. And mama gave me a magic clicker. Well, yes, I think it's true and fair to say. Come on in the list and lost words, you bid me a sin of the fire you're bearing. The eye of the darkness, your life. That three thousand dollars or my tripping? It's what three thousand dollars? My dreams would light up my imagination. And you had nightmares night and day. Yeah, but with the clicker, I chase those frights away. So it's basically just the Adam Sandler movie. Um but that being said though, this is actually good information because I've never played Alan Wake, I never planned on it. Uh now I can learn about it without ever playing it, so this is great. The donation, listen, the donation that just came in played, uh, give me $20, which means no, it was not $3,000. It means it was $20. Here's a I do need to make a custom donation for a hundred plus though. Third person horror game? Well, I'm watching a third person horror musical right now. It feels epic for nothing? I disagree. I think it has a reason. Stories of crime and chilling thrillers of hard boiled killers became bestsellers. It was all too much, I had to get away. The story's the end, all a piece of true fiction made meaningless in the face of creation. So the problem is a lot of bands try to do this, um, but they don't lean entirely into the goofiness of it, so it, there's usually an awkward medium where it's like trying to be cool. Um, while also being really nerdy. Um, what I like about this is uh, it just cuts out the middleman entirely. It's just total dork shit. And it's great. I find this to be incredibly entertaining. But there is more to it than meets the eye. I never meant for it to ruin my life that way. Would you say you live the shade in life? Show me 
They performed the whole thing in the Game Awards. Wait, I think I remember them performing the whole thing at the Game Awards. I think I remember that. Wait, why don't I remember this song at all then? I remember the performance, it was wild. Is it a short version? Yeah, it's just 10 minutes, <laughs> it's insane. Oh yeah! Okay, I remember now. I was watching on Odwin's stream. I made a comment that the guy playing Alan Wake, someone was like, it looks like John Wick. And I said, no, it looks more like Jared Leto. I remember. And then that was, that was great. She could write a new story like Tom Zane before him And maybe they'd be happy once again We the best music! Just one shot, one more chance for him to save them It's better than 30 Seconds of Mars? It's great! This shit's great! It's a good, it's a good level of tech. You watched my video, thank you. Still he's the torch bearer, and it couldn't be much clearer. A world this kind of reminds me of System of a Down. Could be the folk elements. I mean, this shit's amazing, bro. Music video is a little uh, repetitive, but the song is fun. By the way, did you guys like the newest video, the topic video? I was very proud of it. I think I think it came out really well. I like that it was like, um, the best part of the video was me reacting to something new with the, uh, the most wanted, unwanted music. Do we need a part two? We can do that. Such a dark place, am I trapped in here? Is this real? I cannot... This is I'm the most proud of. There was a manuscript that held a key. I'm the most proud of, uh, songs that aged poorly because it made me the most money. I mean, it's my best video. To bring this song to its end.
Smiley Ball, I think it's great. I think that it's epic in a way that's charming. Like, think about it like this. I don't fuck with any power metal. Because that shit I find to be just, like, genuinely horrific and tacky. Um, but this plays into it in a way that feels like instead it's more just a rock opera. You know, it's, it's a rock opera, and it's a fun one. And I like the fact that it's about this video game and explaining the idea behind it. Um, genuinely very enjoyable. I enjoyed that a lot, actually. Oh, shit, it's this song. 